हेलो टिकीज वेलकम टू आवर अनदर वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ पावर ऑटोमेट डेस्कटॉप इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू वर्क विथ कंडीशनल एक्शन दिस इज अ पार्ट वन गाइज हियर आर सम एक्शन सम कंडीशनल एक्शन आर केस डिफॉल्ट केस इफ एल्स एल्स इफ स्विच इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर हाउ टू वर्क विथ इफ एंड एल्स action here you can see guys the syntax of if and else statement in this syntax you can put your condition as per as per your requirement condition is either true or false if condition is true then true command will executed if condition is false then false command will executed so let's open power automate desktop and see how can we use and what is the functionality of if and else action in Power Automate Desktop. So now I am on Power Automate Desktop. Let's create one flow here, guys. I am creating one flow here, and the flow name is if else flow. You can mention as per your requirement, guys. This is just a naming convention. Here it will take some time. It is opening another window. Here is a here your another window window is open now so let's create one flow guys here and see what is the parameter of if and else action for this first of all i am taking one set variable here set variable and i am storing one value here 15 in new var variable i am storing and after this i am taking if condition if action what is the parameter of if and if it's so here is parameter guys for first operand you can mention your uh, created variable as before we have created one variable new var i am just click and select here and here in operator you can check this condition as per your requirement now you are uh, checking equals to first and second operands Uh, also we are mentioning here 50 so that we can check if condition is match because if uh, we are already a store in new var 15 so your condition is true so if condition is true then display one message here and the message is message is number is equal and also here select Two seconds so that your message box is automatically closed. And another here, another action is else. If this condition is false, then go to your flow is go to else condition and say number is not not equal. Let's see first fifteen here we have stored. 15 and also we are taking 50 equal to 50 let's run and see what is the output of this flow guys so see here guys here number is equals because we are checking 15 equal to 15 let's see yet i am mentioning 10 now and see it what is the output of this flow guys so your flow is running and your flow is executed successfully and here you can see guys message number is not equal so not equal so Yeah, so this is the all about if and else action, guys. I hope you understood about if and else conditional actions. Thank you for watching this video.